सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई एम बैक आई एम सारिम खान स्टडिंग फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड एंड टुडे वी हैव न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एज वी नो इट इज़ वेरी फेमस लॉ इट इज़ द वन ऑफ द लॉज न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन विच इज़ द लास्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो क्वेश्चन एराइज वॉट इज न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो लेट मी टेल यू न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन इज दैट लॉ ऑफ मोशन विच प्रेडिक्स ओके विच इज एट नंबर थर्ड विच वॉज डिस्कवर्ड एट थर्ड नंबर ओके लेटर लेटर टू फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड लॉ एंड विच प्रेडिक्स दैट एक्चुअली वॉट वी कैन से दैट फॉर एवरी एक्शन देर इज एन इक्वल एंड अपोजिट रिएक्शन ओके जस्ट लाइक एनी एक्शन any forces applied over any body it is exerted over any body so that body will also exert force on us just like imagine that here we have okay here we have now here we have any block okay any block we have now any man is applying any external force f external on the block in this direction which is of mass m imagine its mass is m then if that man is exerting okay f external magnitude force on the block of mass m so what we can see that the that block of mass m will also exert a force over that man okay of oh, same force magnitude will be same but direction will be opposite so what we can see that f external okay f external exerted by man is equals to minus of x f external exerted by the block okay why minus because it is telling that the direction will be opposite it is telling direction will be opposite this why here this minus symbol indicate same thing okay so f external is minus of x f external means the force exer external force exerted by the man over the block is equals to minus of external force exerted by the block on the man but magnitude will be same but direction should be opposite this is the statement of third law of motion but let me tell you that always we can't say about all kind of forces as action reaction forces okay you know action reaction forces those are those pairs of forces okay for which magnitude the same direction is opposite to which newton's third law of motion states those are action reaction forces okay just like the forces exerted during okay during this kind of situations of action reaction so let me tell you all time all forces are not action reaction forces just like we have any block of mass m okay we have any block of mass m now imagine this block is kept over the surface okay imagine this block of mass m is kept over the surface now here we want we can see imagine that the weight of the block is okay mg mg in downward direction okay because weight is denoted by mg and imagine that the normal contact force okay of the block exerted by the block is and generally in okay exactly perpendicularly in and means our in normal contact force this we have now can we say that n and mg are action reaction forces can we say this can we say that actually n okay n is normal contact force okay no or normal reaction force and mg or w okay are they action reaction forces so the answer is no and n and mg are not action reaction forces but why they are not action reaction forces because of newton's third law of motion always newton's third law of motion is not valid because newton's third law of motion itself states about three conditions made for action reaction forces then we can say that uh, two forces are action reaction forces pairs of action reaction forces the first condition is okay that the magnitude of that force should be same and direction should be opposite so as we know what is magnitude of n okay and magnitude is mg okay mg mg we have now okay direction is opposite this okay this is followed by okay now first rule of newton's third law of motion is followed by this case now second okay second situation or second condition is this that they should be okay the forces of same nature the forces should be of same nature and here we can see n magnitude is equals to mg but actually n is not same as mg okay n is a different quantity and mg means weight is a different quantity okay just like magnitude is same direction is opposite but even then we can see that okay due to this what we can say that actually they are not of same nature those forces so this is why that's the main reason this situation is not valid by newton's third law of motion 
in this situation n and mg are not action reaction forces now let me tell you about third condition okay first condition was that uh, okay that magnitude should be same direction should be opposite second condition what we can see that the nature of forces should be same and the third condition is that they should act over two different bodies okay they should act over two different bodies but here we have only one body okay and of that body we have mg and n or only one body we have so second okay so in which case the third of motion can be valid let me tell you about that just like take any case okay here as uh, same block of mass n okay imagine it's kept over the surface here surface is met now here what we can see now imagine the normal contact force of the block okay this is the block of mass n and this is the surface of earth and then imagine that the block of mass m exerts in downward direction any okay normal contact force sorry its normal contact force will be in upward direction okay so in upward direction so what we can write let this be a normal contact force by okay on the surface by the block this we have so what we can see nsb this kind of normal contact force is nsb now here in downward direction one normal contact force b force will be nbs okay means okay normal contact force on the block by the surface this is normal reaction force on the surface by the block and this is the normal reaction force or normal contact force on by on the block by the surface so here we are now can we see that and can we say that this nsb and nbs are action reaction pair forces okay what we have n okay nsb and and bs now they both are normal contact for contact force now what we can see that actually their magnitude is equal is their magnitude equal okay normal reaction forces of course it is equal is it acting over two different objects okay two different are they acting over two different bodies or objects okay are they acting so of course we can say one the one is surface and the other is our block of mass m now direction is opposite okay now we can say that their direction is opposite and they are following all total rules of this and okay as we know first condition magnitude should be same and direction opposite now second condition to okay next condition is they should act over two different objects and third condition also they are following okay we can see that actually they are also following the third condition that the nature of forces should be same okay both are normal contact forces or normal reaction forces so in such case we can say that in such case newton's third law of motion can be valid and we can say that those kinds of forces are action reaction forces now action reaction forces just like tension if we have two kinds of tension in any string so that are action reaction forces and just like okay centrifugal force centripetal force okay those kind of forces whenever okay whenever they follow the three conditions met by newton's third law of motion okay then we can say that those kinds of pairs of forces are action reaction forces so this was my today's topic if you haven't subscribed the channel so please subscribe the channel thank you